Hello, this is Cyberspike8326, and today we're playing Careful Space Program, and I got something very special to show y'all. Uh, cause you asked me for ground vehicles, and I, uh, complied with, alright, I'ma give you ground vehicles. So here goes nothing, I suppose. So, uh, we got two for you today. We're gonna start with, uh, failure, which is the ABV, uh, don't ask me what it stands for, the ABV M5 slug. Now this is the classic kind of I don't know IFV and uh, infantry fighting vehicle thing with the uh, I don't know prototype caterpillars or something I don't know I saw it on the GAU page um, well the GAU page uh, they 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 um, I mean mean the D D Y J thing well they got the GAU misc uh, which is recommended by the way I'll put a link in the description and all for everything. But they got, uh, they also got an inspiration for, like, a tank gunner house. So I suggest you go check that out. There will be a link in the description below. So, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna, um, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna just round up the mods here. Right now, cause, uh, there will be, there will, uh, there will be a link in the description, primarily. Um, well, fuck it, we'll do it anyway. So we got laser mod here, over there. We got laser camera, we got GAU and Dermabotics. And also, what I've been using um, a lot is the orbital industry um, strut things, which I will find here. And I guess they're not really stuck, are they? So that's the orbital industry truss. Ah, uh, struts. Yeah, strut. Struts, what? Uh, but anyway, I use them to fire like these, um, like submarine style missiles around here and we got a crew tank we ain't got no ladder but we got our own control house and a uh, bunch of bunch of uh, weapons like a light source and we got a camera so we can not actually view it like uh, first person mode but we're not gonna do that cuz that's silly um and I'm gonna talk some more about this gunner because um like this gunner position, which I'll, I'll use some more, and I'll use it on like a VTOL if you ask me to. Um, all sorts of shit, make an AC-130 or something, I don't know, ask me to do anything, I'll do anything for a dollar. Um, wink, wink. But anyway, uh, we're just gonna test this, and then if you, uh, if you like it, I don't know, um, so you keep liking it. So, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drive it over here. And what you'll notice is this these caterpillars are totally broken. They already break when they like um when they drive down the ramp thing. And you may also notice this this um this is only running at eight frames per second. Now this is not a coincidence as this has like a shitload of armor. Now this armor doesn't actually work and I've tested this with the GAU uh cannon thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna activate the camera. You can see this over here. And now guess what this does? And you can uh, you can also see this on the um on the actual like swash plates, rotator plates or whatever, that um it can rotate. And I've set this to IGKL, which is uh which was the primary thing before we hit um hit like O nineteen, I think. Before we got wheels anyway. This was the the option for driving. So uh Oh fuck! This is the fire key is still bound to my Xbox controller. Damn it! Uh, but anyway, <laughs> while I get this fixed up, I suppose we're gonna we're gonna round up some targets here, and I'm not actually gonna hit anything from here. Um, but it, it it's accurate sometimes, and you know you. Oh fuck me! I hit it! Damn! 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 That's a once in a lifetime shot. Um. But anyway, uh, so I'm, I'm just going to quit this one, and then we're, I suppose we're going to go over to our, um, oh, fuck it, just restart it. And then we're going to go over to our second vehicle, which does not lag as much as this one does, which is, uh, good, I suppose. And now the reason I'm, uh, restarting here is because then, uh, our potential enemy over there, over there, the, uh, HCH Anvil, I suppose. No, wait, that's a thunderstorm. That's another helicopter, uh, that I've made. But anyway, this will respawn because uh, it took some cause it took some damage, and I'm not sure I got the debris on. Anyway, we're gonna launch our ACV, which is uh, armored combat vehicle. Um, and then I'm just gonna find it down here beneath all my 
I'm a shizzle with my F-15 copies and shit that I haven't showed you yet. And the F-4 and all that. So, we're just go, going down to the M119 ACV. Now, this is not a new design. This is something I've done before. And, um, especially the cannon, like, that's not new. But this design is something I've worked with before. It's the, uh, the ACV. I haven't showed you anything of it yet, but, um, but yeah, this is my primary ground vehicle design. Th these wheels can actually, like, hold the ground back. And I'm also using a couple of mods for this. Uh, the usual things here with the uh, rotator plates and the gun, the camera and all that, laser sh uh, good things. Uh, I don't want to call it shit because it's not. Um, using these things, oh god, what are they? I don't know. But but meanwhile, I can tell you that I'm using this tiny part here. Now this is just, uh, I, I mean it looks cool. And it's from uh, Pentagon P Projects, which is actually pretty cool. Especially because it comes with this uh, this great cockpit and it has a great internal view. It's good for like if you want to make a blimp, especially. I like to make blimps with it. Um, and it's really cool. Oh, but anyway, I'm using the small like front part for that, and then um, I don't know the other part, Megjeb, I suppose. Uh, map sat, because why not? And then uh, laser missiles again. Oh God! I was at these uh, missile holders, which are not actually missile holders. They're just they just look cool. Um, oh, they're Orbital Industries. Oh, which are also the mod name for this these uh, truss strut. I don't know things. Uh, and you want to have those, that those, those, because they they're just I, I don't know. I can't live without them anyway. So why would you do not have them? So, this uh, combat vehicle is actually fit for combat, and uh, we're going to launch it right now. And another thing that I would like to mention is that while we're doing this, and while um, I'm launching the vehicle, uh, and while I'm uploading the, the video, I got download links set up. And you're going to be able to download this and actually go out and fight with it yourself. And if you don't mind, like you to make some modifications to it, make it easier to use just for yourself, because then you're not actually just copying other people's work. I mean that'd be cool too, but I'd like you to make your own design. Like get out there and be creative and shit. And that's what you gotta do. So, but right now, uh, well, I'd be happy if you like copied mine, but it's it's not gonna cut it, is it? And and I downloaded Craft once. I downloaded like a Harrier thing. I don't remember, remember from where, and it was really, really good, and all that, and I can't do it anymore, because it's not good enough for me, I don't know, it, uh, call me an, an egocentric shit, but I, I, I'm I making crafts that, that, I, that I feel can't be replaced by, like, shit I download, that's just my problem, I suppose, can we hit it, can we hit it, no, we can't, damn, I could hit it before, why can I not hit it now? Oh fuck it, it can hit shit, but I wish I could just bind this to my like axis on my uh Xbox thing. But anyway, I'm gonna do an artillery move here. Um oh shit. Got my SAS on. Anyway, I'm just gonna break it right there. And then uh what you wanna do for using uh like regular artillery, this is a trick I taught myself. And it's actually really useful for like also for like uh long distance fighter shoot downs. If you wanna make a fighter have a bomber, you know, whatever. You want to shoot down a target long range, or missile doesn't become a I like ground strafer and hit the ground and shit. What you want to do is launch missiles, and then when it's up in height, you want to activate your laser. And then what's going to happen is uh, not that usually. That's silly. We're just going to launch another one. Oh, I like that. But that doesn't work long range, and um, so that's not what you want to do. What you want to do is what I did there before, uh, which was a smart maneuver. Uh, whereby you can uh, you can actually make like 90 kilometers artillery. Speaking of artillery, um, thing I talked about last time uh, when I showed you the the MPL, the like uh, A10 copy, and all that. Um, I'm totally making that that thing with the orbital missile system. You can hit. I don't know if anybody uh, didn't hear me last time or didn't watch that video. You can go watch it right now if you wanna. Um, but, but, but anyway, if you didn't watch it, you can watch it right now, and, um, and you can see that I'm, I'm mentioning orbital rockets, 
or a cruiser missile that can actually be fired from space if you do it right and hit ground targets. I'll do a kind of tutorial of that um, and, and put the link to the craft download on um, media fire shit in the description and, uh, and you can go do it yourself and like I'll teach you the maneuver and then you can shoot things from space I think that will be the next video either that or an amphibious VTOL which will also be great I don't know who the hell came up with that idea but it's crazy as shit and I love it and um we're not gonna like engage that right now that's that's a four kilometer drive and I'm not up for that but what we can do is we can fire off a couple of bullets and then I can explain to you uh, just how you um, how again you bind the keys for this there is a there's um in in the file the uh, the GAU file uh, you know there are text files like named module and part and shit what you want to do is go in under part open that with a text document thingy and then you want to just change the stats of it the uh, lower the fire rate the faster the fire rate uh... it's, it's a second um... like between each shot second system so i set mine to uh... to 0.14 0 0.014 to be exact and that is the actual fire rate of um... of the a10 warthog and and, and what you know, want to notice is that is actually seventy shots per second and I'm not sure you can render that right now, or I can, matter of fact, because, um, I don't know, there's a second target and I'm recording, I don't know why. Uh, I just can't handle it. Uh, but anyway, you can do that, change bullet power and all that. The stats are in there on the bottom, and um, I'll write it in the description as well, and that's good. Uh, would you just want to go do that, and then I'll, fuck it, I'll shoot this thing down with a rocket. It can, it can do seven cl clicks anyway, so I guess we can do artillery. Yo, wait, camera. So I'm gonna teach you to do this right now. So we're aligned with our target. That's not very important, but we're hey, we're gonna do it anyway. Then we're gonna fire it. Fire. This is unguided, by the way. And once it hits like the half point here, we can set it to guided. Then we won't have a shitty ground stair strafer, and then we can we can hit it if we're smart, not 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 silly, uh, bad artillerists who can't hit our goddamn targets. Um, th uh, that that was uh, supposed to happen. Um. Fuck. Uh, so uh, <laughs> apparently that that anvil is not going down uh, anytime soon. But um, seems we're in luck because we will soon have orbital missile systems, which is good for anybody who's not on Earth when it happens. Then that's going to be, I suppose, the next video one. Then maybe we're going to have an amphibious VTOL. But what's going to be the next of them? Yeah, I would like you to, if you want me to make anything specific or anything, uh, just if you have an idea for anything remotely cool, a uh, crazy idea like the amphibious VTOL, what's up with that? Um, <laughs> but it's good. I mean, uh, if you got anything, just post in the comment section or anything. I'd like to, to like have your ideas, have new designs. Uh, if you want me to make a specific fighter jet like a copy of it I made an F-15 I can I can do that um and like I made the warthog oh it should be a link on the screen for that right now that like A-10 Thunderbolt and shit and like the helicopter I shot down a couple of minutes ago uh it's like um an MI-28 have a copy or some sort I play Battlefield um I can do that I can do anything I'm like omniscient but anyway, if you want me to do anything of that, any any kind of shit, just post in the comment section. I'll do it. I'm a man or that's what I am. Uh, and and until then, uh, is there anything more I should do? I don't know. I'm. I don't, I don't, I don't fucking know. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna break it. Not not literally break it. Just hit the brakes and then fuck it. We're gonna go to space center. Um, and then what we can do is we cannot play any more KSP, because then we not get any sleep. Um, I, I, I'll, I'll put links to the, the mods in the description, and until then, um, if, if you don't mind, you could subscribe if you wanna, you could like the video, it doesn't hurt you. Uh, if you don't like it, uh, don't dislike or something, or do if you wanna, I don't know, it's, that's your 
thing. Uh, or, it's, it's, well, it's that, that's both of our things. I don't know. And then if you want to subscribe, uh, you could also favorite, even though, as I've probably mentioned before, I don't know why anybody would ever favorite anything on YouTube, because it's all like a playlist. I can't use that for shit. But anyway, maybe you can. Maybe you don't care. If you don't mind, uh, just do it. I don't know. It's your choice. Uh, and I think that covers everything. Like, yeah. See you next time. Peace.